Hi, everybody. I hope that you are doing well. If you read the story Soup Day, um, now what you're going to do for an art project is make your own bowl of soup using different shapes and different patterns and some different colors. So what you're going to do to get started today, and I'm just showing my example a little bit closer, I used construction paper for my bowl and I also used some paper to make the soup part um, or the food that's in my bowl. I used construction paper for the background as well. So what you're going to do to get started today is you're just going to get some blue construction paper. If you need to pause to gather materials, um, you can do that. That's fine. And I'm just going to go over a couple of things while materials are being gathered and handed out as well. So when I made my bowl, I used a tracer to make this bowl shape. Here's another example. Um, I used a tracer and I am using white colored pencil today just to make the pattern stand out on the blue paper. You can use crayons if you want to. You can use markers or other materials that you have in the classroom. So I did use a tracer that I made, um, but just to show everybody, I am actually going to draw my own shape so that you guys can draw along. So if it works to watch this part while, I, um, while you are handing out materials, you can do that. Um, we're going to be cutting out this design. So if you draw it at the top of your paper or at the bottom of your paper or right in the middle, anywhere is fine because we are going to be cutting this out eventually. So when I'm drawing my soup bowl, first I'm drawing this kind of top line and it's almost like a really wide smiley face. It may be a little tricky to see the white on blue, so I'll hold it up a little closer. So I just drew that line for the top lip of my bowl. Then I'm going to draw what kind of looks like a letter U shape, but it's wider. So let me show you that. If you do not have white colored pencils or white crayons and you're using other colors, that's okay too. I do have a small lip at the bottom of my bowl because usually bowls have, sometimes they have a little lip at the bottom to kind of stand on. So this is more like a rectangle at the bottom without drawing the top of the rectangle. So that's it, that's the shape of my bowl. Um, one thing I want you to think about before you start, you can brainstorm as a group if that helps. Think about patterns that you could include on your bowl. So some of my patterns, or most of my patterns actually, they are the same shape. They just repeat over and over and over. So I have little tiny lines that go up and down that are close to each other. I have, this reminds me of like a happy mouth on a happy face emoji. And then I did more up and down lines. These might look like maybe pretzels. And then I did more up and down lines. They're a little bit more on an angle this time. And I started making some more longer shapes at the bottom that I started coloring in. On my other soup bowl, I made it look like some flowers. And then I used dashed lines that kind of look like boxes and I did more vertical lines. I also colored in some areas to make it look like a highlight. So I would like you to think about that right now. If you're thinking on your own, think about different shapes that you could use in your patterns. If you're working as a group, you could brainstorm some ideas. So you can include shapes like circles. And then I'm going to do a triangle today. I'll show this up closer after I get mine finished. You might be working on your design while I'm showing you this design, and that's okay. So some of you may be ready to get started and you can do that. Let me show you my first pattern. Very cool. So I want you to keep working on your design. I'm going to add some in here and keep going. You could do things like mermaid scales or dragon scales. You could do 
dotted lines like I have. You could do a solid single line that goes all the way across. You can do little spirals. Maybe they connect to each other, or maybe they don't. There's some spirals. It's really fun to make the same shape over and over because sometimes it changes as you're making it. It looks a little bit different by the time I'm getting to the last one. Very fun. I could also do a zigzag. So I want you to fill the outline of your bowl with lots of shapes. Fill that whole space inside of the outline. When you're done, you're going to set it off to the side. Eventually you'll cut it out. You're just going to fill those designs in for now. I'm going to do one more zigzag. It may take you a little bit longer than I just did. But that's it for your bowl shape. Make sure you put your name on your paper so that if you don't cut it out right away, you know who it belongs to. I wrote my name, Sours, at the bottom right there. The other part for today has to do with making our soup. So if you look on my project, I made it look like my bowl has soup in it. What I did was I took a piece of paper like this. I drew, I'm flipping this over, I drew a shape that looks kind of like, almost like an eyeball. And that shape is going to fit at the top of the shape of my bowl. So if you want to, what you can do is take your plain piece of paper you can also use different pieces of construction paper. You can rip the paper into small pieces. You can punch it out with a hole puncher. Um, you can cut it with scissors. You can be creative and use what your classroom has available to make your design. So you could add other things. I am going to draw my design. So what you could do for your shape is you can cut this out. And I'm going to do that right now real quick. So while I'm cutting this out, you can keep working on your design. This is another one that I made from the other day. So I'm going to cut this one out. It probably is helpful to cut out your soup bowl before you make your soup. And I'll show you why in a second. So just to make sure we don't lose this, it is a great idea to write your name on the back. So I'm going to do that right now before I forget. So I did say to write it on the whole paper in case you don't cut it out right away. When you do cut it out, put your name on the back. Then with another piece of paper, I'm just going to lay my soup bowl on my paper and I'm going to make the shape for my soup. How am I going to do that? I'm going to trace that lip of my bowl and then I'm going to draw a curve at the top. If it's not perfectly even, that is okay. That's where I'm going to make my soup design. So you might start thinking about your favorite type of soup. My example here is chicken noodle. So if I hold up my soup to show you, I made carrots that are orange triangles. I made noodles that are long and skinny, kind of like little rectangles. I made celery, and they happen to have the shape of the letter C, just like celery starts with the letter C. I made these shapes, which kind of look like ovals or some look like diamonds. Those are potatoes or maybe chicken for my chicken noodle soup. So that's what I did for mine. Another design that I made is ramen noodle soup. So I took a marker so that they stand out a little bit more, but I made these really fun squiggly lines. And then I did little onion slices, but they kind of look like peas, but that's okay. 
I made orange carrots that are triangles and I did little pieces of celery as well. So I made shapes that way. If you're going to make a new one, think about, if you're just starting, think about what shapes would be in your soup, what colors would be in your soup. You may have to color in your paper or maybe you already have a paper, a piece of paper that's that color. When you're finished with your soup, you're going to cut that out and glue both pieces onto some type of background paper. And then you'll have your bowl of soup. If you get a chance to take a picture of your work, I would love to see it. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Bye, everybody.